over this page. Finn McMissile. Finn McMissile and Holly Sifto stood on the second floor of the Tokyo Museum. They stood down at the party below. It was the night before the World Grand Prix, and the fastest cars in the world were all there. But Finn and Holly weren't watching the races. They were pretty secret agents. They were looking for a mail agent who had some important information. Down at the party, made with the tone truck and his best friend, the famous race car Lightning McQueen, were talking with Niles Exelrod, who was in charge of the race. Mado had been excited all night and kept getting him in trouble. When Lightning spotted some oil by Mado, he got upset. Mado, you gotta get a horn for yourself. You're making a scene. Mado was in bills. I never go, never. He hurried off to the bathroom. When he left the bathroom store, Mado interrupted the fight. One of the cars in the fight was the American agent. When Mado wasn't paying attention, the secret agent saw his chance. They, um, Get out of here. Out in the hallway, Holly stopped the Beatles. She spoke to him in a quiet voice. When can I see you again? Beatles was surprised. We'll see you tomorrow after the race. Mado thought Holly wanted to go on a date, but Holly don't want a date. She knew Mado was carrying secret information. She thought he was the American agent. So what's this case? The next day. The next day was the first race of the World Grand Prix. Lightning McQueen zoomed around the track. The rest of the team cheered him on from the pit. What is this? Suddenly. Suddenly, one of the, one of the and one of the cars engines started smoke. One spoke. And suddenly, another car blew an engine and switch it? Yeah. Turn the page. Oh, yeah. What is this? Just then. Just then. A voice. Came from Weedle's head sick. Get out of the pit now. Weedle recognized that first. Hey, I know you. You're that girl from the party last night. You wanna know you um my name right now? What's it? Do you wanna go on our date right now? T turn the page. Made oh. look made look for Holly. She she spoke to him over the headset. When she saw it, try to buy flour. Maybe. What's it? Mater replied. Mater replied. Hmm? Forgetting that lightning could hear him. Lightning was confused. When he moved to the outside of the track. Turn the page. Lightning told Mater. Lightning told Mater. To turn. Turn this? Yeah. Mater don't want Lightning to lose any more races. He decided it would be better if he left. Next morning.
He went to the airport to fly home. Finn McMissile went over to him, disguised as a security guard. Come with me, Lisa. Mado knew that when they said the two bad cars from the bathroom were finally Mado. They, they knew that Mado had put information and they wanted to get it back. When Finn and Grace began to, What? When Graham and Acer began to chase them, Finn told Mado what to do. Drive home. Whatever you do, don't stop. Hmm? Yeah. What's it? Holly. Holly Swift was on the jet too. Two. Finn and Holly and told Mater. He was an important information. Oh, what's it? Mater agreed. But you know, I'm just a tow truck, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The agents decided Mater should go. Undercover. I'm going to, to pretend to be this girl. He learned about a sinister plot. Mato thought lightning was in danger. Right. Good reading. What's it? Mato knew that he, love. he had to warn lightning. One of the cars spotted him. It's an American spy. What's up? Dad Gum Mater made a quick getaway using some gadgets Holly had given him. Suddenly a parachute opened and he flew off. Whoa, wait. Mm. Mater hurried to the racetrack. Are y'all done, Mo Molly? No. No. I want to see. I wanted to do it all by itself. Okay, you're doing it. No, it reading it, not me. Okay, well say goodbye. Bye.